Hey everybody, it's Blue Totem. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Now we've done a good portion of the dungeons in the Dark World. Let's go to the next one. Which we actually need to be in the Light World to get to. So let's go down to Lake Hylia. Just avoiding everything in sight. And out of sight. Uh, I also probably should have checked the upriver in the Dark World over that area. Which actually I might... No, I shouldn't. I don't think I need to go over there. Uh, but anyway, if we go up here now, to the, the Fairy Fountain Island, we can see there's a black rock here that we can pick up now. Uh, but first I'm going to also spend some rupees since we have quite a lot to spend, so I'm going to do that. I want to carry more bombs. Now we're at 50 bombs. I cannot grant you any more wishes for you, but a friend of mine might be able to. She lives in the waterfall of, of wishing near Zora's lake. I will return your rupees to you. May you be happy. So we can't upgrade our bombs anymore, but let me just double check that we can't do arrows anymore. Okay, we're up to 70 arrows now. The upgrades at the very end seem to give you 10 at a time, which is... Interesting. And I have quite a good improvement that I'm quite happy with, so. Okay, so it's the the max is 50 bombs and 70 arrows. The last two times they that she upgrades your stuff, she gives you 10 at a time. Okay, well let me just quickly check my bottles. I have three empty bottles, wow. I've been struggling apparently. Keep it in a bottle. Keep it in a bottle. Caught a fairy, keep it in a bottle. I think that's all my bottles filled up now. And also we're running out of spaces for new upgrades because we have all of the the items except for one. And we've already filled in other, every other space. So, who knows what items are going to be next. I was surprised about how efficient I've somewhat been. I mean, I've been going back and forth a lot with what stuff I should be doing. And speaking of which, I'm going to do that right now, so... Not really helping my case. Uh, well, let's head back to the Dark World before anything else. Back in, uh, over by Link's house. Because I think now, now that we have done the, the Thieves hideout in the, the Village of Outcasts, we can probably do this now. So let's head over to Link's house. Get out of my way. Because now, I believe, if we go in here... Nope. Apparently not. Wow, I thought you could do that a lot sooner, but I guess not. Uh, let me also go check the other side of the lake now as well, which we can't actually access directly from the bottom of the map here, but I might also check the bottom of the map here anyway, since I, there might also be something down there for, for us to get. If I have forgotten or something. Although I don't remember there being anything up here. Or down here. That way. That this down is this this is a direction. Uh is there anything here? Probably not. Oh my goodness, it's so nice having a stronger sword. Well we can jump off over here into the lake at least to get around. I don't think there's any way to teleport around the river in whirlpools in the dark world. Which I suppose makes sense considering we don't need to go over. Actually, no, this thing here looks like a way we can travel. Where does this take us? Okay, this takes us up here. I think there might also be one. No, maybe that's the only one. I don't know. Anyway, let's. Let's, uh. Try to do this properly now. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, good. Let's go over here and check out what's over here. Although I don't think there is anything over here. Oh my goodness, stop bombing me. Please. Please. Okay, we're good. Um, so far there's nothing. But I mean, we can come all the way over here. So there's actually a cave here, cool. Let's check this out then. Hey, I'll tell you a profitable story if you pay me 20 rupees. How about it? Hey, thank you. To tell you the truth, I used to be a thief in the light world. 
Some of my fellow thieves went into hiding because they were afraid of being caught. One of them was a master locksmith. But now he is hiding the fact that he was a thief by pretending to be a strange middle-aged guy. Ha ha ha. Oh, and you healed me. Thank you. It's very kind. Uh, let's check the other cave as well while we're here. Since we can see the, the hole in the wall. But there's also a cave down there as well that we could check as well, I guess so. All of the things to check. That's a fairy fountain. Okay. Haven't really needed those in a while. Considering how many hearts we have. And how many bottles we have. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. I mean, we could do this in several ways. We could just walk across taking damage, or we could use an item, magic item, to not take damage. Or we can just use the hookshot. Link, did you know that if you freeze, uh, destroy frozen enemies with a hammer, you will often get magic? A magic, uh, decanter. Can't, can't, I don't know. Uh, so that's interesting. That's a very specific thing. Let me just quickly freeze something and then hit it with the hammer. Oh, hello. Freeze. Oh, that's gone. I don't... I don't know what enemies I can test this on, other than maybe this thing here. Freeze you. Hammer. Cool, so if you hit something that's been frozen with the hammer, it gives you some magic. Interesting. I don't know how helpful that is, but, you know, it's interesting. Uh, anyway, I think that's everything up here then. So let's actually go to where we're supposed to be now. So, we've looked at this already a little bit. Oh, so this guy's gonna steal my shield if I'm not careful. Okay. So this place has got a wall around it, so we can't just go in. So, let's go to the light world. Because the only way to get in would be to go in from the light world into the dark world. With this dark world portal right here. I was there the whole time. And now we're inside the ice palace, I guess. I don't know what it's actually called. Also, now we have these ice enemies. That can only be taken out using the fire rod. Link, the magic flames will protect you inside this icy dungeon. Okay then. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble in here. Because I've... I'm very good at getting lost in here. It's a little bit... of a loop in some of this dungeon. Also, this ice tiles down here make you have ice physics so you slide around and move a lot slower. Okay, let's hit that panel right there. Green shoes. I don't know if they're different by color. I think they're just green. Okay, push the blocks. So we can go down. Get rid of all these penguin enemies. Slowly, but surely. I could use Bombos, but I... I'm tempted by the magic. I probably could have just used Bombos. But anyway, taking all the enemies in here gives us a treasure chest. Easy, easy to miss that one. That's the compass! What? We didn't get the map yet. Uh, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. There's also those, um... Like those wall-like blocks in the way. On the sides. We can actually hookshot to those. Uh, I'm gonna use Bombos. They've been dropping magic, so... I'd expect that this would work. Also, the blue look on that penguin enemy looks really cool. And more like a penguin than them being green. Uh, let me pick this up. Okay, so that opens up the doors. We can't go that way because there's blocks in the way, as well as skulls in the way of the blocks. So let's go back this way. And press that. That opens the doors, so but we can only hit it from this side, so... Let's go up this way now. Because now we have this room here. We need to hit the switch a few times and also blow up that spot in the middle there. So let's just throw a bomb in there because that's probably easier. We also need to be able to get around here. So let me place a bomb and place another bomb a few seconds later. So that allows us to get through. And let's fall in the hole. I don't know how helpful that is to do that like that. You cannot destroy the skeleton knight with a sword alone. When he collapses, he is vulnerable to another weapon. So we need to blow them up after they collapse, basically. I'm glad I also got the sword for this because they go down a lot faster. I don't think we can blow up that hole there either. In the ground. Ah, but there we go. Let's go deeper. 
I mean, we're already on B2. Going further down is B3. Oh, I need that key. I didn't actually know that one of those enemies dropped a key. I'm surprised by that. I mean, how often do enemies drop keys anyway? Um. Okay, that needs to be red. Which completely defeats the purpose of me hitting the other switch back there, but that's okay. We can also hookshot through the fire there, which is very helpful. Also, I just messed up because I needed to hit the switch right there first. Ah, uh, but that's okay because I can... I was about to say I couldn't dodge, but I apparently can't dodge. That's fine. It's all fine. I think we can also just, like, stand here and hookshot to not take damage. We can't get hit while we're using a hookshot, so... Ah, uh, but anyway. Let's take you all out. Grab that magic if I can, please. Okay, that switch opens the door, but we're gonna go deeper now, instead. Deal with some of these penguins. Which apparently the hookshot is super effective against. I forgot that that was just really good against them. Don't diss the hookshot, it's better than you think. Uh, now, which way do I want to go? I'm not entirely sure. Let me check this way. Okay, it might be a good idea to go that way, but let me also... Go up this way. That spike trap only moves when we next to it. Ah, uh, this is a mistake. This is gonna drop us down, and I don't think I wanted to go down yet. Or maybe I did, I don't know. This takes us here, okay. Link, do not use your magic power if you do not possess the magic of medicine. Medicine of magic. Now, get ready to go into the depths of the dungeon. So I think what it's telling me is that we need to have magic. We can't waste it. We need also to have a potion that has magic properties, so. Um, there's a lot of area here. There's also that locked door that we can't go through. But there's also this button here that will allow us to go up, I believe. Which is not exact actually what I need to do right now. I don't want to go there either. I probably should have done... I should have gone the other... through the other door that I didn't. I have made everything wrong. This is fine. This is so fine. Just need to do a whole bunch of backtracking and then... progress again. Okay. Good dodging. Uh, okay. This room. This place is all over the place. Also, I need that treasure chest, which has a small key in it. Now, which level am I on? I think I... I don't think I want to go up just yet. Hang on, where does that take me? Oh, that actually might take me to a, the chest that I didn't get before. So let me go up here first. Nope, I have no idea where I am now. <laughs> oh boy, this is not good. What I'm doing right now is not good. Okay, I need to go up a little bit further, I believe, probably first. Once we have these skeleton guys again, we need to take care of. And also that magic there that I'm going to avoid. If it hits a wall, it dissipates into nothingness. Okay. Bombos. No, bomb. Just regular bomb, not bombos. Also got a key from underneath that block there, which is good. Also that tray chest there. But if we pull on this tongue on the statue, that opens the door. There's the dungeon map. That took a while to get to. Now this place is fairly deep, so we need to get to the seventh basement floor. Uh, now, let me go up here. And this allows us to get this treasure chest here and go back to some upper rooms. But I don't think I want to do that just yet. Also, big key. I, I guess it was a good thing I went this way first then. Because we needed the big key before we could do the other thing, so. Uh, but now I think I want to go back this way. I think this is the way I want to go. Also, I've never done... I don't think I've ever done this dungeon as efficiently as I could probably do. Uh, let me see if I can blow up that wall. Does that actually have anything behind it? No, okay. I'm assuming not anyway. Since it didn't open. Yeah, that's just a regular wall. Uh, anyway, let's go over here. Because this takes us back to where we need to be. Let's go across there. And let's go down the stairs here. If I can manage that. Also, can this block be pushed in any direction? 
I don't know, but I'm gonna find out in a second. <laughs> Maybe. That fireball was going after me. That's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. We can hook shot to blocks and also the other things in the room. Uh, but anyway, down here, we need to be careful of this enemy here. They go faster when they're going down the screen. Uh, and they're slow sideways. Let me blow up that bit there, though. Because we don't want to fall into this hole over here. We want to fall into this hole over here. Because if we fall over there, we actually end up on that side of the room. Which means we can't get to this treasure chest over here. And inside of this treasure chest... ...is the blue mail. This armor reduces the damage that you take from enemies. So now we have blue armor, which is cool. I like blue. And now we take less damage. Cool. Everything's starting to link up a little bit better than I've ever played this level in. Uh, we can also go through here. Since we have the big key for that. Uh, and we can take our key up here. But now we're out of keys and we need to do a bit of more, a bit more exploring. Because we need a key to actually get through here, I believe. Quite possibly. Just take out everything. Uh, so let's go find a key, because I think that's what we need. Also, we need to... Possibly... Just... Um... Brain's not working. We need to hit a a one of the switches. And get around the place. Differently. That's a key. I can't go back though right now. Not at the moment. Ow. 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 Okay, that opens the door. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. I probably should have got... You got the anti-fairy with the... The uh, magic powder. If I can manage to do it, that'd be good because I need a little bit of health. But also there's another anti-fairy this way. That I can do instead. I'm learning slowly. Very slowly. Okay, got that. Let's check this door over here. I'm not sure if this is where we're supposed to use our key. But this is where I'm going to use it, because there's a switch here. There's also some magic that I'm going to try and avoid. Is there any... Anything else here? No. So I guess we could also go straight to the end now, but I also don't think I want to, unless possibly I need to go do the other thing first. I, I, I just need to test something before anything else happens. Uh, and that's going to go into the hole right here. It's not actually what I need to do, but I'm going to go in here anyway. Because this takes us deeper into the place. All the way down to all these fairies here, which is good if we didn't have already have all our fairies and a little bit of magic. Ah, uh, that's fine. Let's head back up, though. I don't think there's any secret treasures here, right? If no pulling on the tongues. I don't think we can... There's enough space over here, so... No, cool. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with not having secrets there. Uh, but now I need to go up here and try to figure out the puzzle of this place. Otherwise, I'm going to get lost. Okay, so we can push a block off here, down there. But we can only move it once down once it's down here, so we can't push that to where we need it. So we need to go push a block from the other side. So we can only do that if we go round. Now that the 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 panels or the now that the blue and red switches have been hit to reverse, we have to go round the long way now. Which I can probably do, hopefully. Get that. So I feel like there's also possibly... Oh no, I already got the key in here, didn't I? Okay. Let's go down, please, 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 please. What are you doing? Link, what are you doing? No, why? Why? Okay. Go, 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 go. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Go review. Get this chest here, which has another small key in it. Making sure we use up all of our keys everywhere. This is a lot more straightforward than I thought it was. I just need to not overthink the dungeon layout. Just need to trust the dungeon. Uh, now, I think... Which way did we go last time from here? Maybe we went both ways, I don't remember. But also, which way leads back to where we need to go? Which is... Down? Yes, down. No. Up, down. 
Damn it. What floor am I on? I'm so confused. I think I might want to go over to the left. Right now. Probably. Yes, maybe? Yeah. I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. I'm pretty sure I actually understand this dungeon now. Just a little bit. So we fall down here. And this should take us to where we need to be. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. I've actually figured out this dungeon. That's actually crazy to me. I've never done this dungeon as well as I have right now. Uh, anyway, let's pick that up since we're standing on this block. We can actually do that. Push that block onto the button and let's go down here. Okay. We're about at the end then. Just need to pull that open to open the door. We can also pick this up. Get rid of all these enemies. Get a little bit of extra health. We do need magic going forward, so we need to make sure we don't run out of that. There's also some refills in this room that we can get. From everything everywhere. That doesn't matter. Ah, uh, now I need to pull one of these out of the way. So we can get around here. Please. There we go. Pick this up, and down here is a hole going to the boss room. So let's get out a magic and start throwing fire at it. Also, it's dropping ice on us, which drops with projectiles. We need to dodge those if we can. Okay, we've took it, taken it out. Let's do some good damage. Oh my gosh. Two for the price of one. Very nice. Also, we can just do sword attacks now, but also I think fireballs is going to be the most efficient way to attack, probably. This is why the game wants you to have magic going into the boss, because you need to be able to use your, uh, you need to use, be able to use the flame rod, I believe, to take it out of its first phase, at least. Anyway, Hakatena and the crystal. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. They say that the Hardier people controlled mysterious powers, as did the seven wise men. But the blood of the Hylia has become thin over time. We who carry the blood of the seven wise men do not possess strong power anymore, either. Our powers will increase if we mix the courage of the knights with the wisdom of the wise men. Only a short time remains until the gauge at the castle linking the worlds opens completely. If you defeat Ganon, this world will vanish and the Trifles will wait for a new holder. I believe in you. Good luck. Do you understand? Yes, I do. May the way of the hero lead you to the Triforce. And there we go. Only a few more dungeons to go. And now let's see if we can actually do the thing that I've been trying to do at Link's house in the Dark World. Which means we have to go teleport around again, go back into the light world, dark world, all of the things, all over the place. It's a little bit ridiculous. Oh my goodness, I got- you missed me. How dare you. How dare you. That's fine. Anyway. Please say I can do this now. Please tell me I can do this now. Please. I beg you. It's a shame we can't get out of that dungeon without having to go back to the light world. Ah, but it's fine. It's not that much extra effort. It's just my feelings. Okay. And we have the blue mail now. Which explains why there's not much space in our inventory left to fill. Because it actually is an upgrade to our equipment. Okay. Oh my goodness, can I still not do this? When can I do this? When- uh, I, I'm surprised at how long I have to wait before, before I can actually do the thing there. Anyway, let's head to the next dungeon yet, there then, because I don't think there's anything else that we have left to do. We're doing quite well, so let's go to number six, which takes us actually up to this platform here that we can't reach otherwise. And because we have the Golden Gauntlets, we can pick up a Golden Titan's Mitt, 
we can pick up this rock here and go into the dark world here. Allowing us to actually reach this part of the world because there's no other way to get in. And there we go. So let's take a look around here while we're in this misery mire. I think that's what this place is called. I might be wrong. No, it's probably, it's, it's probably the second dungeon in the dark world that was called misery mire. I can't remember what this place is called. I, I can't remember. <laughs> anyway. Hello. Hey, if you tell- if I tell you a- I'll tell you a profitable story if you pay me 20 rupees. How about it? Hey, thank you. As a matter of fact, monster magic is making it rain in the swamp. If you can move the air with more force than the monsters, the rain may stop. Interesting. Very interesting. But first I'm gonna go into this extra part of the cave here. And get refills, I guess. That's all that seems to be here. I was hoping for a little bit more than that, but all right. Oh well. It's not like we need anything else at this point. We're so stacked on items right now. Uh, now, I believe there's also some other entrances we can go into around the place that aren't actually connected to anything in the dungeon. Fairy fountain. Okay. And I believe there's also something else we can do if we go over here and go into the light world. So let's do that. Except not quite there, because that's a rock and I can't go into the thing now. No, I can. Just like that. There we go. Okay, there's a piece of heart, so let's push some of these out of the way. To get through and grab this piece of heart. There we go. Just three more pieces of heart to go. I don't remember where they are. <laughs> I probably will remember by the time we're done here. Also, I can't touch the portal. Oh no, I can't go back to the dark world unless I teleport. Well, let's do that then. Take me to the other side. Okay. The other thing we can do is go over here, further down, into this little hole here. Okay. Just gonna avoid getting hit by other things there. And now. If I do this correctly, we have two treasures here. One with 20 rupees and one with the other piece of heart. Now there's only two pieces of heart left. Just need to figure out where those two are. I'm, I'm counting down. I'm counting down. I'm doing good. Uh, anyway, let's go over here. And to be able to enter the next dungeon, we need to have the medallion with this symbol, which I can't remember which one exactly it is. Ether. We need to stand here and use it. And now the storm is gone. Even though I really like the storm. I like rain. I want more rain. But anyway. There's the next dungeon. But I think that's also it for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.